Welcome to Science 360, the truth behind 2012. I'm Caius from Moorhead Planetarium and Science Center. Our next claim is about a giant planet set to collide with Earth in 2012. Let's look at a video to see exactly what this claim predicts. On December 21st, 2012, Earth will be struck by the rogue planet Nibiru, which will destroy all life on Earth. An entire planet hitting Earth? That's pretty scary. But let's think about this idea. If something as large as a planet were ever to hit Earth, it would be visible long before it arrived. 2012 proponents believe that there is a large planet in our solar system, Nibiru, which is about four times the size of Jupiter. They claim that Nibiru is on a collision course with Earth. But Nibiru's proposed size means that telescopes should be able to observe this planet, and not just NASA telescopes, but amateur telescopes as well. If the planet existed, then as it came closer, we would be able to see it even with our naked eye, and it would soon dominate our sky. But no one has seen anything like this, which is the most convincing argument as to why an impact will not happen in 2012. Let's prove this using the actual orbit information that Nibiru theorists are using. If you search online for Nibiru orbit, you'll come up with lots of pictures that look something like this. People who believe that Nibiru is real and that it will hit us in 2012 say that the planet has a very strange orbit, very long and skinny and tilted compared with all of the other planetary orbits. According to them, the reason we can't see Nibiru is that it is currently behind our sun relative to the northern hemisphere. Only people in the southern hemisphere can see this planet. Of course, we already have a problem here. Millions of people live in the southern hemisphere with thousands of telescopes, and not one of them has seen Nibiru. Even on top of that, many Northern Hemisphere astronomers, even some from here at UNC Chapel Hill, have telescopes set up in the Southern Hemisphere, and no one has seen Nibiru. Strike one against this claim, but let's continue anyway. Supposedly, Nibiru will run into Earth on December 21st, 2012, meaning that in the next few years, Nibiru would travel through only this small portion of its orbit. But in that same amount of time, Earth would complete almost three full orbits around the Sun, this means that Earth would have to be traveling much faster than Nibiru. However, astronomers have calculated that to be able to escape the Sun's pull and complete its orbit, Nibiru would have to be traveling faster than Mercury. Mercury is the fastest planet in our solar system, so that means that Nibiru would be traveling much faster than Earth. Objects like comets, which have orbits similar to the one proposed for Nibiru, travel fast when they are close to the Sun, and much slower when they are far from the Sun. As Nibiru approached the Sun, the Sun's gravity would pull it in with increasing force, speeding it up and giving it the energy it would require to complete its orbit. There is no way that it could be traveling this slow at this point in its orbit. Strike two against this claim. The final problem with this claim also has to do with Earth's orbit compared with Nibiru. Earth makes one complete orbit around the Sun every year, that means that even if Nibiru could hide behind the sun for a while, in a matter of a few months, Earth would be on the Nibiru side of the sun, at which point everyone on Earth should be able to see it. Yet the Nibiru theorists have been claiming the hiding behind the sun argument for years. Strike three, Nibiru is out. Now we know that Nibiru not only is not going to crash into the Earth, but it doesn't exist and there is no way that we will be hit by Nibiru or any other rogue planet in 2012. Thanks for watching this segment of Science 360, the truth behind 2012. For information about more 2012 claims, be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series.